Welcome back, everybody, to the Cardboard Prospector channel. We are back today with a special unboxing and review video. So uh, we've been buying from an online breaker. Uh, actually, they're a local card shop out in West Virginia for a couple months now. Uh, BITG Breaks um, is the name and channel on YouTube. BITGBreaks.com is their website. The shop is back in the game sports cards over in Ranson, West Virginia. And so today I just, uh, we had a new shipment come in from them for some auction winnings and uh, a break that we did like a month ago. And uh, we've got some like drawing winnings in there as well. So during their live videos and everything, they will actually do like a random number draw for everybody in the live and whoever lands uh, on or closest to the number We'll get the card and so we've got some of those in there and uh so yeah we just wanted to do a review of of them and their shipping and packing policies and as you can see here this is the package that we have um everything got shipped in a 500 count storage box every shipment that we've received from them has been in an actual card box like this and um they tape it up completely i mean this box from every side there's nothing left exposed put it this way the entire thing is covered in uh, packing tape all the way around um, I already took and went ahead and cut the seals on this so we can get into it and so without further ado let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that all right so we can see here it's the inside of the box here we got some bubble wrap uh, Alright, we got some trading card packs right here on the top. Uh, these are actually for our Everything Collectors Tuesdays, so we're actually going to be ripping these tomorrow. We got a few packs of Garbage Pail Kids Food Fight from them, so I'm just going to put those off to the side. Um, but as you can see, everything in here, first off, shipped in a box, bubble wrapped, team bags, Everything's in team bags, all the different winnings. Everything's usually separated. Oh yeah, I forgot we I forgot we even purchased this. All right, let's put that to the side. Let's get this out of here. One of the things that's awesome about them is, uh, I mean, every shipment you get, you get a box. So if you are like me and you have cards everywhere, um, these things come in handy. So you know, we're gonna save this. This is actually. Um, a NASCAR set that we got at an auction recently from BITG, and this is the complete set. Um, I think we might save this for a Everything Collectibles Tuesday and take and run through that. Take a look at this. Uh, one of the items we got at auction, 2019 Panini Chronicles, LeBron James, Gem Mint 10. And uh, this is the Panini Marquee. Uh, insert card here. Gem Mint 10 on that. Beautiful. I don't remember what we paid for it. I think uh, I think at the time when I looked it up, we literally got it at live auction for about $25 less than what it was going for on eBay with sales the same day. So that was, that was pretty huge. All right. Now, unfortunately, I don't remember what is what. I think this is a break that we did uh, with BITG probably about a month ago. Um, one of the great things about BITG is that you can do multiple breaks with them and then choose when you want to get shipped out. And so on their website, they'll actually have a ship me. And uh, so on the breaks, you know, you can buy into, you know, two or three breaks a week and just let stuff pile up. And then when you're ready to receive it, you just go to the website and put the ship me into your cart, pay for it, and he'll ship out everything that you've had. Now, their auctions are working a little bit different. Uh, BITG is now on Whatnot, and so they're running auctions on Whatnot, and of course on that, um, that's a different platform. And so everything gets uh, paid for when you win, and then he ships out everything. Um, and that's based on their platform. So it looks like we pulled some some heat in there. Okay, cool. 
let's just run through these real quick. Um, so I do vaguely remember this break. Uh, we bought into a, a multi-box break. I think it was Chrome and obviously Bowman. I think there was some Prism in here as well. So we got a rookie Nate Pearson, rookie Nate Pearson. Lots of rookie Nate Pearsons in here. Seeing uh, how BITG works it is uh, basically you buy into a break and everybody gets uh, assigned random teams. And um, let's look at that. It's pretty. What is that? Blue wave prism? Teal wave maybe? And a nice looking card. It's kind of cool to see these after the fact because, uh, like I said, I think this was over a month ago. There we go. Look at that. Rookie Bowman Chrome. Cabrian Hayes, Bowman Scouts Top 100, number 42. That's a nice card. Got some old school. Ryan Castellini, rookie. Trevor Story. We got some Tops Chrome going on in here. <clears throat> Jared Oliva, rookie card out of Prism. Acuna Jr. Wow, look at that. That one's actually really centered. The centering on this is uh, pretty impeccable considering the Panini Prism just horrible quality control. Is this 21? It is 21. I'm actually really impressed with how centered that card is. That's really nice. It's got Freddie Freeman illumination in there. Nice. Or chrome. So let's see what our hits were on these. I see an auto. Who do we get an auto of? Tops Chrome. William Contreras, rookie. On-card auto. My light sucks today. There we go. Cool. We've got a Ryan Mountcastle, Tops Chrome rookie. And a Ryan Mountcastle, Panini Prism rookie. So, again, the centering on that one. Not as good as that last one, but pretty darn good. I want to say that's probably a 55-45. I mean, I might be off. I'll put that on the uh, on the grading tool and see what the centering looks like on that. Um, those cards check out. The Mount Castles will probably be getting sent off to uh, grade. Now, the rest of these I'm pretty sure are all uh, auction winnings and or um, like giveaway winnings. And I'm pretty sure that this is actually a giveaway winning right here. So this is the Paul O'Neill Tops Desert Storm. Um, I want to say that this was a giveaway. Wow, the bag it's in is really old. I'm just going to rip this. This has been in this bag for a long time. Let's get in there to this hardcover here. You can see it better. There you go. So these were that uh, 1990... Uh, or uh, 1991 tops. These were the Desert Storm um, parallels in there. You can see the Desert Storm uh, shield up there. So that was cool. I want I want to say that this was one of the giveaways, but honestly, this might have been something that I bought at auction. Um, and I know this uh, rookie Alec Baum. This was a auction win in here, third base, Phillies, rookie Alec Baum. Love that old vintage design there. I won that in an auction. This Acuna, Machines, beautiful. It's out of Panini Prism, last year, 2020. Acuna Jr. Got the Fleer 1991 All Star Team Michael Jordan. Beautiful. The card's in really nice condition. Nikola Jokic. There we go. There's a Brendan McKay rookie card numbered. This is 85 out of 100. Classics. What is this? Is this Donruss? Oh, Panini Chronicles Classic Baseball. Interesting. I don't remember seeing that set. 
And I know this was a giveaway, uh, Tops Project 2020, Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, this was one of the uh, giveaways that I won in one of the live chats. So kudos to BITG for all the giveaway stuff. Um, I know some of these are giveaways. It's pretty bad. I can't remember what I bought and what I got for, for giveaways. So let's see here. All right, so that about does it for the BITG box. Um, if you didn't uh, check out yesterday's um, Mystery Pack uh, Sunday, be sure you check that out. We had the 716 MLB Gold Packs, 30 card packs. They're only about seven bucks each. And um, we pulled, uh, I mean, it was all right. I mean, it wasn't horrible. Uh, there wasn't any like huge fire. We did pull in a uh, numbered autograph. Um, so. Be sure to check that out and be sure to come back tomorrow for everything collectible Tuesday because uh, we're going to take and rip these garbage pail kids and uh, see what we find in here. This will be a uh, channel first, obviously. Never ripped uh, any garbage pail kids. And uh, what do we got? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I mentioned on TCG Friday that we were going to be going back to the card shop for a special surprise and we actually made it out to the card shop yesterday and we got ba bam so this is the flesh and blood tales of aria first edition booster box uh 24 packs one of the thing that's special about the first edition is that uh, the cold foil cards are only available in the first edition and it's a limited print run and so here, probably within the next few months, uh, new booster boxes will be released, but it will be Flesh and Blood Unlimited, um, and it won't be the, the first edition. And uh, you can see here, this is first edition print. And so right now, the question for me is, do we rip this or do we hang on to it? And I ask that question because uh, in past expansions, um, booster box first edition booster boxes have doubled tripled and quadrupled in value um like within a year i know uh the monarch series was the last expansion before tales of aria and if you go looking for a first edition printing of a sealed box of boosters right now uh, you're going to spend close to 400 dollars. now mind you when they came out you know, you're looking at $100, $115 for a box. And so, you know, you're looking at least tripled in value uh, since the last release. And so right now, um, I'm debating on whether we're going to take and rip this on channel and, and open this up and see what type of cold foils and hollow foils and everything that we can get uh, out of this box of first edition. Or whether this is going to get set up and put into like the investment lot and see where it goes from there so um, if I had more than one of these the decision would be easy I would definitely be ripping one of these on channel um, but I will see what I can do about getting another one and because I can tell you right now if we can get another one then we're gonna take and rip it so but that was the uh, the special uh, can't wait to do that so and uh, stay tuned uh, we're gonna take and do these racing cards this NASCAR set uh, this is a 2003 press pass uh, NASCAR set, and uh, we'll do we'll take and open this up and look through this set on another uh, Everything Collectibles Tuesday. So um, definitely check out uh, BITG Breaks. Uh, they're a licensed local business uh, card shop. They run uh, breaks on YouTube live, and uh, you can head up to their website bitgbreaks.com. And you can see what they have available. They do personals. Uh, they do random team breaks. And they're also now on Whatnot. So if you're on Whatnot, uh, look for BITG Breaks and uh, tell them Cardboard Prospector sent you. And um, on their website, they have a rewards program. So if you're buying into breaks and personals, you'll actually earn rewards uh, for money off on future orders. So pretty cool. Overall, a great community of people. There's a lot of regulars in the live and uh, great community of guys and uh, 
the ITG, he, he's fair. Um, as you can see from the shipping, they, they have a lot of respect for the product that they send out. And overall, I mean, 100% for BITG breaks. I definitely suggest checking them out. We'll include links to their YouTube channel, their whatnot page, and their website in the description of this video. If you're on social, be sure to uh, follow us. Fa Facebook at Cardboard Prospector. Twitter at Card underscore Prospector. And on Instagram at Cardboard Prospector. Be sure to check out the website, CardboardProspector.com. We've got new stuff coming into this to the store, supplies, card singles, trading card games, uh, a bunch of stuff coming in there. And uh, on our RIP videos, we actually take and do follow-up articles for uh, mystery packs and retail RIPs and everything. Just kind of uh, evaluating what was in the, uh, in the RIPs and if there was anything major value. And so be sure to check out the website for those uh, behind-the-scenes, after-the-video articles as well. Anyway, I hope everybody had a great weekend and a great week to come. And happy Monday. Keep on ripping.